discuss about the basic OT setup in arthroscopy. Uh, this is a patient, this is a volunteer who has agreed for this demonstration. So uh, we are operating on the right uh, lower limb. All our uh, endovision system and instruments uh, trolley will be on the other side. So when we operate on this side we get adequate uh, vision and dexterity. When we position the uh, patient supine without breaking the table, we keep a thigh support and we keep a bolster so that when we fold the knee at around 120 degree, we don't need assistance or we need minimal assistance and we can achieve hyperflexion so that we can get the right tunnel placement for ACL. We can also position the patient with uh, high support and breaking the table so that the limb uh, dangles freely and we can achieve hyperflexion also in the same manner. This is also a very good way of operating because uh, this reduces the uh, need for assistance. Important thing here to note is that our table should at least be till foot length so that it does not hamper us with our dexterity and we are able to operate freely in and around the Knee. And we have kept it opposite to the side of the limb that we are operating. It uh, has on the top has a monitor which is a medical grade monitor. The second thing that most of the time uh, we keep is the camera console. Then there is a recorder system and then there is a LED light source and down there is a shaver system. So in addition to that we have an orthoscopic pump and <coughs> and RF ablator that we use especially in shoulder orthoscopy. Basic instruments that we need for orthoscopy. Uh, this is uh, the camera head with the cable in which we are going to fix the orthoscope. So this is the orthoscope, this is the camera head and the cable. I'll show you when we we'll fix it. This is a light cable. Uh, this connects uh, on one side with the uh, scope and on, on the other side with the LED light source. This is the shaver hand piece and it has a shaver blade attached to it. There are various kinds of shaver blades that are available basically and there are birds that are also available. Basic instruments uh, for knee orthoscopy or any other orthoscopy, the foremost and the most important is this which is known as probe. This is the extension of your finger and uh, this is used to probe the things uh, to look for the continuity inside the joint. Then this is the punch that we use. This is a 4.5 mm punch. This is used for cutting uh, the torn structure and debriding. Then this is the grapple. This is a grabber, this is also a grabber. This grabber is used to grab something, maybe a loose body inside the knee joint and to take it out. The trocar sheet, this and this is the sheet, this is the trocar and this is the orthoscope. This is a 4 mm 30 degree orthoscope. This looks 30 degree. Now there is another scope which is 70 degree. Uh, 4 mm scope which looks 70 degree down which is used for mainly PCL reconstruction and in shoulder orthoscopy when we have to look in deep structures of the knee. This trocar sheet is usually the first instrument that we put inside the joint. So we should uh, know everything about it. It has got two uh, in one inlet, one outlet and a lower lock system. So along with the trocar, the sheet goes into the joint. This is a blunt trocar. This is uh, just to make sure that uh, we don't cause inadvertent injury to the knee joint and other soft tissue structures. So after putting uh, the trocar in sheath, we usually when we reach the right spot, we take out the trocar and then put the scope inside. The scope has to be locked and there is a mechanism of locking it this and this aligns with each other this is a smith and nephew scope along with trocar and sheath and with this we look into it this is a water inlet cable and this is connected to the pump you can also connect it 
to the 3 liter normal saline bottle and that can be used very well in knee arthroscopy. So this is another thing that we connect, this is the light source cable and we connect. So these are the only two connections that are required, one is a water inlet, other one is a light source. After connecting this, we connect this scope with the camera. There is a rapid lock system and this connects with the camera. Camera usually has two or three buttons. One, P is here for picture. This is a striker camera. P is here for the picture. W is for white balance and this is for increasing or decreasing the light intensity. We put in uh, our scope inside the joint. We should make it sure that it is white balance which is very important for proper color reproduction. With the help of a gauze piece, we will do the white balancing. So this is very important for color reproduction. And so here there is a speed and mode that is given. We can change the mode and we can change the speed. There is uh, oscillating mode, there is a forward mode, there is a speed which we can decrease or increase with the help of touch screen. The shaver handpiece along with the shaver blade, the shaver blade most of the time has a pick locking mechanism, there are slots for it, you can lock it and there is a snapping mechanism. Uh, this is a shaver handpiece which does not have hand control, so we have a foot operating switch and this is at oscillating mode which is the most common mode that we use in orthoscopy. It is used for debridement. So if you want to change the mode with the help of foot pedal, we can change it. The mode that we have changed and this has become a forward mode. We can even make it reverse mode, oscillating mode. Then again, you can make it a forward mode. Then again, oscillating mode. So this is how we change the mode of the AD frequency ablation console and with that, we connect it with the probe. This is usually for coagulation as well as for ablation. And this is a plasma generator, it generates a very high temperature around the probe and ablates. The punches that we use, the most commonly used is a straight punch. This is a 4.5 mm duckbill concave striker punch. Then we have a right as well as the left punch that we can use for right and the left corner. Uh, especially the posterior horn, meniscal tear if we want to uh, cut it.